Good evening. I want to welcome everybody to The Strand. I hope you enjoy our, our new event space, which is located in our rare book floor. As a way of introduction, I'm Nancy Wyden. I'm the owner of The Strand. The Strand uh, was founded by my grandfather in 1927. It's been uh, around for three generations of my family. <laughs> So uh, contrary to s the so-called experts who say the Kindles and the iPads and the next cool devices are going to wipe out bookstores, we believe that people do not want to just be si sitting home at, at home tethered to their gadgets, even though I see Matt brought his device <laughs> to the bookstore. <laughs> but um, we're just planning to serve the book community for a long, long time. Tonight, I am thrilled to wait welcome back Naomi Prims. Uh, for the launch of her first historical novel, Black Tuesday. This is the second time that she's been at the Strand, and she says that she only signs at independent bookstores. I love her for that. <laughs> so with the mounting frustration with Wall Street and the recession, this novel and topic is extremely timey, timely. So. This, um, and thank you, special thank you to Demos, the nonpartisan multi-issue think tank, for co-sponsoring this event, and they're uh, located here in New York City. <laughs> so we have a, we have a lively group of panelists here tonight, um, none of which are afraid of controversy, <laughs> uh, including Matt Tabi Tabili. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, Rich Benjamin, that's a lot easier, uh, who will talk about the current uh, financial climate. Black Tuesday is a, a Black Tuesday is a character-driven book that vividly portrays New York on the cusp of the great stock market crash of 1929. It captures the romance and desperation of one of the most fascinating historical times. Um, Nomi Prims left a lucrative career at Goldman Sachs and Bear Stearns after a decade to pen three nonfiction whistleblower books, It Takes a Pillage, Other People's Money, I know, <laughs> um, and Jacked, ex expo Exposing Fraud and Deception from w uh, Wall Street to Washington. Her first novel, The Trail, is a thriller set in the corrupt banking world, and it was written under pseudonym, you'll have to tell us why, and, but she's a senior fellow at Demos and a frequent commentator for all kinds of media, PBS, Fox, why Fox, um, MSNBC, <laughs> CNBC, CNN, BBC, and other global media outlets. Matt is a contributing editor for Rolling Stone. He writes about uh, politics and finance. In one article, he famously described Goldman Sachs as a great vampire squid wrapped <laughs> about the face of humanity, relentlessly jamming its blood funnel into anything that smells like money. <laughs> He's authored five um, books, many of which we have here, um, including the New York Times bestseller, Great Derangement and Griftopia. Um, and he's recently became a contributor for Current TV's Countdown with Keith Overman. Uh, Rich Benjamin, down at the end, is the author, yay, of <laughs> <laughs> Searching for Witopia, an improbable journey to the heart of white America which was the winner of 2009 Editor's Choice Award from Booklist and the American Library Association. Uh, Rich regularly appears all over the media, including on NPR, MSNBC, C-SPAN, New York Times, USA Today, and, and CNN.com. He's a contributing producer of short, short documentaries for Time.com in partnership with CNN, and he's a senior fellow at Demos. Um, so for a little bit of tonight's format, we're going to have a uh, conversation. Then we want to open up the mic to your questions. It's a really big crowd here, so if you don't mind just um, standing, um, standing up, and I'll hand you the and just waiting a second for me to hand you the mic so everybody can hear you. And then the authors are going to stick around and sign copies of their books. Also, a special thanks to C-SPAN for filming tonight. Um, and for the work they do to inspire and educate us. So please join me in welcoming some of America's great contemporary whistleblowers and advocates of financial reform 
Naomi Prims and her panelists to the Strand. Thank you all. Hi, my name is Rich Benjamin. I'm a senior fellow at Demos. And first of all, I'd like to welcome you guys who make this event possible. And I want to thank Strand, such a beloved, beloved institution for we book lovers here in New York. And I want to thank Demos, which, as Nancy mentioned, is a multi-issue think tank which works for three overarching goals, the first of which is a more equitable, prosperous economy, the second of which is a democracy where more of us can participate, and the third of which is a public sector that works for the common good. Now, I want to offer a different angle in introducing our other panelists. Uh, I got this email in July from Nomi, and it said, hey, Rich, I've written a novel called Black Tuesday. Right here? And I'm thinking, where? Nomi wrote a book called about African American Tuesday. <laughs> she had to clarify. Black Tuesday, of course, referring to Dark Tuesday and the stock market crash of 1929. And immediately, I could see the timeliness of this topic. Although Nomi could write a book called African American Tuesday. Now, for those of you who don't know, Nomi is such a dogged, incisive, elegant voice for progressive values. And I'm so honored to introduce her. What you may not know, and which was alluded to before, is Nomi was part of the 1% before she joined the 99%. Uh, Nomi was a Wall Streeter, and not only was she a Wall Streeter, she was a managing director at Goldman Sachs, which is such an achievement in itself in terms of her brilliance. But uh, now she's uh, based in LA, and she's writing full time. And I want to briefly show you her novels, because that really gives a wonderful trajectory of her thinking and her career. The first, Other People's Money, The Corporate Mugging of America. Secondly, Jacked, How Conservatives Are Picking Your Pocket, Whether You Voted For Them Or Not. Third whistleblowing book, It Takes a Pillage, Behind the Bailouts, Bonuses, and Backroom Deals from Wall Street to Washington. By the way, Nomi's also the queen of titles, in case you hadn't <laughs> noticed. So you can learn more about Nomi at www.nomiprince.com. And I just introduce her with a great deal of pride and a great deal of affection. And we miss her here on uh, the right coast. <laughs> so Nomi Prince. Thank you. Now Matt Taibbi. You might figure, you know, Matt's a bit of an underachiever and a boring writer. <laughs> Seriously, Matt is a regular contributor for Rolling Stone, and he has made such a name to really exposing the underbelly and the dark side of our financial institutions in this country. Uh, you read the beautiful uh, quote that Matt had to say about Nomi's former employer, <laughs> Goldman Sachs. And I'll briefly read from uh, Matt's blog today. You can find Matt at, uh, at his Rolling Stone blog when he's not on countdown. Matt wrote today, quote, what nobody is comfortable with is a movement in which virtually the entire spectrum of middle class and poor Americans is on the same page, railing against incestuous political and financial corruption on Wall Street and in Washington. The reality is that Occupy Wall Street and the millions of middle Americans who make up the Tea Party are natural allies and should be on the same page about most of the key issues, and that's a story our media won't want you to know or you to handle. I have a gripe to pick with uh, Matt. Um, as Nancy mentioned, I published a book called Searching for Whiteopia in 2009, An Improbable Journey to the Heart of White America. In 2010, Matt released <laughs> Griftopia. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble machines, vampire squids, and the long con that is breathtaking, that is breaking America. So please visit Matt and welcome Matt. And Matt, we're delighted to have you. Thank you. Sorry to steal the title. <laughs> so let's just begin. Let's just jump right in. What we'll do is we'll have a conversation, and then we'll open it up to questions. And Nomi, let's hear about Black Tuesday. 
Um, well, thank you for that introduction. Thank you, Nancy, for that lovely introduction. Thank the Strand. Thank Demos. Um, thank the Lower East Side Tennis.